that has been there to support me through any um, of my interests. My mother has been there to help me understand what it is to face adversity, but yet still come out on the other side optimistic because family matters more than anything. My mother has contributed everything to who I am and what I am as a person, as a human being, a single woman in a male dominant industry who believes in something that no one else believes. And that is that her son is special and has a special gift from God. Seems pretty unrealistic, you know, to say, hey, no, that could be the biggest artist in the world. <laughs> When Usher introduced you at the beginning of his act, when he first went out to Las Vegas, the first show, you were surprised? Mm -hmm. Why? I wasn't really surprised. I, I, I really was sitting there, and it wasn't the first show, but it, it was maybe the third time I went out there. Um, and I just, I caught myself just, I was at awe because I, you know, I would watch him perform and I was thinking about the things that we went through when he was actually recording that record or performing that record. And I really got lost and I told him that and I was just sitting there and I, I was just, and I think at that point he called my name and I didn't even hear it. And he said, when I was just like this, he was all, oh, my mom's not even listening. But I really was, I was like, I can't believe this. This is, this is just so amazing. You know, thinking about, you know, from the beginning, what we went through and to see him on that stage and know that he did that. I had nothing to do with that at all. That was all Usher. Where does this talent come from? I can really sing. His father can really sing. I mean, could really, really sing. Mm -hmm. So why did you never record? Well, I was in gospel. And, you know, I, I, I ne just never really wanted to. You like being behind the scenes? I really do. Now, I really do not like being out front. I, I'm, 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 I am the person that makes the magic happen. And I want to spend my time, you know, working on making it perfect, you know. And, you know, if you're on camera all the time, first of all, you gotta watch your weight. <laughs> You have to do it over and over and over and over, and, and it's just not my style. I like taking my time mastering the moment. When did you recognize that your firstborn was so talented? Well, you know, Usher performed, he actually sang in my youth choir. I was the youth choir director uh, at our church, and so he would lead songs, so I knew he could really sing. But it wasn't until he joined a youth group um, that came to perform at his school, that's when I realized that he had talent. Now you, how would you describe your parenting style? Were you strict? Were you liberal? Were you a little bit? What was your parenting style with I your was, boys? I was liberal and strict because I wanted them to be able to voice their concerns, struggles with me. And I wanted to, I wanted them to be comfortable where they would share anything with me. And they did, you know, that's the relationship that I had with my boys, which was a little different than the relationship that I had with my own parents, uh, which I really wish my parents were here today to really see what Jeanette, I really did. Because, you know, I was one of those kids that, you know, your mom and your dad, you know, they were really concerned about a person's character. And I didn't understand that at a young age, how important a person's character was. And so I would want to do certain things. And, you know, my mom was like, no, that's bad. Mm -mm, I don't want you hanging out with that person. But you know, she was really, really strict. I couldn't have those conversations, you know, with her about what I was actually experiencing and what I was going through. 
So that's kind of the difference. You know, I had parents that character was everything, but you were afraid to express yourself. So with my kids, I was open. I was their friend. I was the mother. I was the person that you could talk to about anything. And I mean, boy things, girl relationships, whatever you're going through. And my advice w was, okay, I'm gonna tell you what I think, and it's gonna be up to you to make that decision as to how you will handle that situation. But whatever and however you handle that situation, it's yours. So that's how I brought my kids up. I listened because I'd rather them talk to me than a stranger. So I wanted to be just open. So when you came to Atlanta and your son gets into this group and he's doing well, you're his mother. How did you make sure that people didn't take advantage of him? I was assertive. Okay, I did my homework. You know, the industry that he wanted, you know, um, as a single parent, it was very difficult at first, but it was his dream. You know, so I had to really do my homework. And that's how I nurtured that career, is, you know, I found the right people to associate with. And plus I come from a, uh, a business background. My father was a businessman. You know, he had a store. He had a grocery store and he had a, uh, a snack shop. So we had to work in the snack shop and the grocery store. So I already really knew about business and people. So I really, with that music industry, it was something different. It was something different, something new, something I knew nothing about. Uh, but I searched and I found this book. It was uh, Everything You Need to Know About the Music Business by Donald Passman. And I studied that book. And really and truthfully, that's how I won. That's how we won. You know, Usher was, um, he, he, he was passionate about what he wanted. And I know, I knew that he would be fine because he was tenacious. And I was assertive. So I knew we were gonna win. I knew we were gonna win. But people reacted to you very differently because you were his mother and also his agent at that time. Yes, yes. Um, I did my job. You know, people judged me by the way I did my job, but I protected my son and my artists. You know, I knew when to be the mother and I knew when to be the manager. And because I had his back 100%, so, you know, I expected, you know, people to think, oh, she's difficult. No, I'm not really difficult. You know, I'm just doing what's best for my artists. There are no arterial motives here. I want the best for him. And I think that's why he has sustained. It's because I was very strict, you know, that was as a mother also, but I was lenient. You know, I let him do his own thing, make his own choices, you know. But let him make his own mistakes. I did. I let him make his own mistakes. And that goes back to what I said from the beginning is, okay, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen here. So when you make that step, you have to own it. And that's exactly what he did. He made his mistakes, but he owned it. And I'm not going to even call it a mistake. He made choices. And it wasn't a mistake because he owned it. And he learned from it. Is there one you can share? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. <laughs> the look on your face said everything. Thank you.